Some help from the top brass at the CLP's official start line. Good, sir. The Deputy Prime Minister in the top end to promise $10 million for airport infrastructure and another 10 for children's sport in Darwin's rural area if his government is re-elected next month. Looking after these children so their social infrastructure is as good as the, it is down south. The coalition also used a visit to a local market to add more heat to a scare campaign about Labor's climate policy costing jobs in the local resources sector. But the policy to gradually lower the threshold for when large emitters must account for their offsets does have the backing of at least one key business group and began as coalition legislation. Now I suppose they're both ceilings but one hurts and the other one doesn't. Later it was a modest showing of party faithful at the CLP's official campaign launch. Parliamentary leader Leah Finocchiaro nowhere to be seen and the event was also missing several high-ranking members who've recently quit the party. This is the Deputy Prime Minister's second visit to the top end in the space of a few short weeks. Both Solomon and Lingiari are currently held by Labor on thin margins of about 5 and 3 per cent, which means voters can likely expect more election promises to be made by both major parties in the three weeks to come. Throwing his support behind the CLP, the Deputy Prime Minister struggled to remember the Solomon candidate Tina McFarlane's name. Tina McPherson. Tina McPherson. The coalition appearing more hopeful about its chances in Lingiari. Hopefully, if this guy gets up, and you know, regardless, I want this guy to get up, obviously. Let's rip the rug out of Labor and let's get Lingiari. Voters will have their say about that in three weeks' time. Jesse Thompson, ABC News.